So it originally had two fires. Had to throw the baffles back in. <laughs> what do you keep getting bugs in your mouth? <laughs> Those new run brake lights look pretty good. Get my pickle out of your mouth. <laughs> Alright, so I got Tanya guessing how much she thinks that we have into this bike right now. For my bike, had to throw the baffles back in, but she does. She doesn't sound so bad, right? With the baffles in. No, it sounds fine. Sounds fine, but I still like the pop pops that I get <laughs> when they're out. We're gonna probably stop, get a bite to eat. We're gonna give you a breakdown of our road glide builds. Because I know a lot of people have asked you, like, what would it cost to build something like that? So right. we'll break that down for you. And obviously we had a lot of our sponsors involved, so there was some savings here and there. But we're going to a place on the Hudson River. It's called River Station. Makes sense, right guys? Real original. But yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's also called Station because it is right by the train station. There you go, which you can see straight ahead. It's a really nice view at this restaurant. And that's what we're all about. We're all about the nice views. Oh, the smell of summer is coming. Backing her in. It's easy for you now, you're downhill. Oh, it's beautiful here. What'd you get to eat? A wrap. A wrap? Why do you say it like that? You made a $50 salad somehow. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it was actually 15. Let's see what it comes out yeah, to be. Yeah, I just ran. Yeah. <laughs> but I did take some stuff away though. Oh yeah? Yeah. Like what? I took the, the I took the blue cheese crumble away because- Because blue cheese tastes like meat. I'm pretty sure they won't deduct the price for it. Guys, so a little history lesson for you. So right over here, above Eric's big head. We have the walkway over the Hudson. So originally that was a railroad track. Railway bridge. Railroad bridge. It's the railroad man over here. Knows all about it. So it originally had two fires. Last one was 1974 and that was the last time that bridge was operable. They said, that's it, we cut you Shut out. It Shut it down, we're done with you. And it sat stagnant as nothing up there for over 30 years, yep. more than that. But anyway, so now it's like this famous walkway now over the Hudson River and it's actually a beautiful spot. So if you're ever in the Hudson Valley, you should definitely work your way over that bridge. It's in Pixie and it is beautiful. You're a fool, my mouth. I stole one of your pickles. Stop stealing my pickles. <laughs> get, get, mine. get my pickle out of your mouth. <laughs> your pickle's mine. You're mighty close to me. Guys, we're in the lovely city of Poughkeepsie right now. The lovely. Picturesque. Ooh, it's like a highlighter. All right, so I got Tanya guessing, but she's not telling me how much she thinks that we have into this bike right now. I told her to save it because at least if I'm close to home, I can make a break for it before she starts to start trying to divorce me. <laughs> I can at least get home and lock the door before she gets to me. <laughs> You do know the house is mine. <laughs> well, it's part yours. Your, your name's on it. What's mine is yours, right, baby? Yeah. Those new run brake lights look pretty good. Do they? I 
I wish I could see them. <laughs> oh, it's so cool in here. Yes. I want to be right here. I want to be in front of the lady guy. I don't want to be in front of the pigs and the cows. I want to be in front of this over here. So we made it to our spot. I ripped the, you see the rip out of the paper there? <laughs> I ripped out the total. This way I can drop and just run. There's a lot of numbers here. Before we start, all these parts we purchased from Deadbeat Customs. Yes. Yes. Exactly. And <laughs> we'll go through and we'll tell you where we got everything, but the parts that we're going with now are the ones that we got from Deadbeat Customs. First, number one, we tell them how much we paid for the bike. Okay. Because that's, that's fair enough. Yeah. So as you guys- I don't think we ever told you guys. No, we, we never did. We actually ended up spending on this. So. It's a 2005 Road Glide with when I bought it, it had about 14 and change, thousand miles, and completely stock, slip-ons on it. We spent 7,000 on this bike. Amazing deal. Amazing Stole deal. this thing. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we said that from the beginning, and somehow Eric always finds some good deals. Probably... It's the hunt. Uh, yeah, <laughs> good at hunting. I mean, hunting <laughs> got you down. down, I got you. Now we have our exhaust, the, the Trask Assault, this is a two into one. One thousand, one hundred, forty-nine dollars, ninety-five cents. There you go. So kind of a big ticket, but not That's as expensive a, as they could be. Uh, easy. Having huge tickets. Easy, easy. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting ready. <laughs> it just gets worse. He's, it he's gets got worse. His running shoes on and everything. <laughs> it gets worse. Next, we have the intake, which was the Billet Pro. It's by Horsepower Inc. We have two ninety four. A little pricey. A little pricey. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not the worst. I feel like I need to be like Vanna White here and start pointing things out. So the floorboards, we have Ooh. the thrash and floorboards. And the thrash and brake and pedal. The thrash and brake pedal, yes. Matchy match. Matchy you always match. got a matchy match, <laughs> right? So we have for that the floorboards. Four seventy nine ninety five. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's freaking ridiculous. Yeah, then we have worse. the brake pedal. <laughs> the brake pedal was worse. Sorry. One nineteen ninety five. <laughs> okay. Crazy. But you're also paying for the name, right? You're and paying good for quality. The name, American the quality. made. Exactly. Then we also have the Trask shift linkage. The carbon shift linkage was over there. On this side. Yeah, they remember us doing that. One forty nine <laughs> ninety five for Carbon fiber. The saddleman seat. Which we had which custom is your done. Nice step up with a lot of stitch yep. in the charcoal gray, right? Which the top stitch, the side stitch, and the lash stitch all charcoal gray. Not, not the worst price either. So we have five thirty five for that. I think that's really fair. Not five dollars. But five hundred and thirty five dollars. It's the most comfortable thing I've ever sat in my life. Yeah, and I it have really to say, holds you in. Mine's pretty comfortable, although it's still wet, guys, from my rain ride. <laughs> <laughs> I we left the house and I was like, "What is going on?" <laughs> Moving on. So now we have the San Diego Customs seat screw, which is really cool because totally down my alley. Yeah. I, I think I need one of these. Um, that would be twenty eight ninety five. So. F off. Yeah. My favorite, well, one of my favorite parts because I actually had a say in this. <laughs> um, the wheel. We have the Coastal Moto. Moto. <laughs> coastal Moto. Marlin 3D yes, contrast Marlin cut. 3D. This was the. That was a heavy ticket. It was. It was probably the most expensive thing that we spent on this bike. <laughs> so that came to $1,649. Let me defend myself though. Tire and I'm... brake rotors included. And we got it on a Black Friday sale. So we got it cheaper than that, but I have to give you guys the full number. We have the Legends front and back suspension. Both we purchased did. at Deadbeat Customs. So the rear was, and obviously, do you guys like the placement? Oh yeah. It's like a rocket ship. I'll say it every time. <laughs> so these are the 13 inch Revo ARCs or the ARCs. We have $1,415.95. There's a lot of like 95 cents. That's like a common Yeah. Well, that's just number. the suspension. The bracket that's, for them. Right. That's not, yeah. That's just the suspension. The mounts. <laughs> the mounts. <laughs> Two pieces of metal and hardware. 
Oh my God. Jesus Christ. Um, $249.95. <laughs> so about the placement. That's what she said. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is this is adding up, guys. Right? This is crazy. That's not bad. It's fine. It's not bad. Some more. Well, some would say that's nothing. Some would say that's crazy. I mean, I might be some that says that's crazy. <laughs> the front suspension, which was the 21-inch Axio. Yep. And that came to eight hundred and ninety-nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Are you guys tallying this up? All right. So next we have the risers which was by Debbie Customs. Also, we have the eight inch risers. They're moto risers. I think the they moto. look amazing. They, it's yeah. the, it, it changed it's, the way the bike handles so much. Exactly. And that's what you want when you're doing a performance bike, is yeah. you want the handling. So that came to $289. Which is actually really reasonable. If you look at yeah. the competing brands, $249 is really good for quality made 89. risers. 89. See, 289. He doesn't, he doesn't even know. Cutting it down. Cutting them down. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we got them on sale. No. No. <laughs> it says 289 here <laughs> and 95 cents. Okay. So we also have the deadbeat throttle tube, which was is aluminum. aluminum. Yep. And that also came to 49.95. 95. The bars are Debbie Customs Tracker highs. Highs. Oh, I'm having a hard time reading Eric's handwriting over here. <laughs> it's like Sorry. chicken scratch. Sorry. 11 o'clock right. at night, solo cups flowing. That came to $99.95, which I don't think was that's terrible. really good. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a pretty decent price. The grips, Debbie Customs, uh, they are $19.95. Great, great deal. I think that's a pretty awesome deal, too. Brake calipers. Off of a newer Road Glide. Actually, these came off of a Road King. Same thing. Yeah, these were the new style Harley Brembos. We bought them uh, used. 175. Master cylinder. 50. 50. Used. Okay. Now we have the Memphis Shades. I really like it. I love this really one. Really happy about this. It's nice, short, sweet, and simple. It's blacked out look. That's their five and a half inch. Yes. That came to 139. Good deal. I think that's a pretty good deal also. We have a lot of lights, right? Of lighting, <laughs> okay? All Eagle lights, so make sure that after you hear this, you look on our pretty little screen here yep. and use our discount code, BP underscore customs, and get your 15% off today on all your Eagle yeah. lights products, and you will not be disappointed. Our headlights, $329.99. Ooh. We have the front and rear turn signal. Those are the sunburst. The sunburst. They're $249.99. Um, I'm assuming those were together. Front and rear front and combo rear deal. Combo deal. As you guys know, with the new LEDs, you need the load equalizer. On the older bikes like this. Right. Yeah. $79.99 for that. And otherwise, the, no hyper flash. Yeah, you the otherwise, hyper you're going to get that dreaded hyper flash, right? Tail light. $89.99. There you go. Beautiful tail light. So sweet. Oh, I even forgot stuff on this list, too. I'm, I'm seeing it now as I'm going. It's all right, keep going, keep, yeah, going. keep going. I bet We're, you're talking about that license plate mount. License plate huh? mount, yeah. the license plate bracket. Yeah. I didn't add any exactly. of that in. More on the lighting. Run and brake. Turn signal Turn module. Turn signal module, yes. Okay. That gives us those rear signals Well, actually our tail lights now, their brake lights, and their signals now, too. Right. That one cost. <laughs> what do you keep getting bugs in your mouth? <laughs> flying everywhere. <laughs> Goddamn country. Really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death. The fuck is that? Shit! Yeah. I'm dying in this fucking country ass fucked up town. The lighting altogether was $819.95. Savings that you would get using our code would be $123 in savings. Bringing your total down to six ninety six ninety five. That's big. That's a lot that of savings. Is, it is. It's a good amount of savings. The powder coating. We did a good amount of powder coating on this bike. This, we'll just go. We'll just say all over because it's all over the engine. It's all over the bike. Right. Okay. So we're not even going to bother just breaking it down. We're just gonna, just a lump. Just, just a just lump. Just a lump sum here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because that's what you did. Yeah, I just I lumped it that. all up. Yeah, I don't you want to tell you prices. It all up I don't need just... to tell you individual things. All right, the powder coating cost overall thousand dollars. Not terrible. Not terrible. Good quality. Again, you're not specifying here nah. everything that nah. you brought there. Nah. Last, I think, but not least, 
we have the derby cover. Oh yes, Our Grand State custom, Customs. Our custom derby cover over here, obviously. That's it. You can get your very own custom derby cover by Granite State Customs. Great people to work with. Well, do we have anything left on the list? That's it. So still left, we have tuning that has to get done. Still in between Thunder Max. Oh gosh, she's in the background. Thunder Max, Power Vision, which way I want to go with it. Also, over the winter, we are going to be doing hopefully a cam chest and yeah. a 98 kit on this. So this price is going to keep going up. But yeah, we're not done with this. We're not done. Not done. It now rides gray now. Speed. Now I need more power. More power, that's what I meant. <laughs> the grand total, Tanya, is not on that list, but... No, because you ripped it off. <laughs> we are at 7,000 for the bike. And so are we including the bike total? Yes. Yes. And not including all the upgrades, because I guess I forgot a couple small things. I have a clear exit that way and a clear exit that way. I'm going to say it was probably 10,000 without the seven. The total number, including the cost of the bike, right now we're at $16,664. <laughs> there you have it, guys. I, uh, listen, <laughs> that's a lot of money. Yeah, but if you think about it, I mean, people do it all the time. Uh, People do it all the time, sure. They and they buy newer. They have the funds to be doing it. <laughs> and then they have a newer bike, too. So could you imagine buying a $30,000 bike and then putting ten grand Listen, into it? There's no comparing you to other people. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think it's a good number. Comment below. Let us know if you think that's a fair number or not. Because there's people or saying that. Or if you think I need to be getting paperwork written up by my lawyer. Because <laughs> there was people commenting saying that this was like an affordable budget build and all that stuff. And I was like, oh, oh, I don't yeah. know. Don't forget, there's definitely 100 hours of man time in this, at least. Oh, so if you, we did all least. we did all this work ourselves. Yeah, we right. pay just as much in labor as you do for parts, if Sometimes not more. Sometimes more. All right, well, I'm going to go that way. <laughs> Is this grounds for divorce? <laughs> no. I egged you on anyway. Yeah, you're, you're a bad influence. I'm very bad influence because I like to spend the money. <laughs> All right, guys, you know the deal. As always, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.